Shalom. This is Yael. And I just want to say that we as a people need to unite. And not only unite, but unite on things that truly matter. We cannot simply just come together without coming together for a purpose, for a cause, for results. We have more common goals on coming together to support the release of the new Jordans. We will come together quickly to go to a hip hop concert, to go to a block party. But when it comes down to issues that we as a people must truly come together on, we do not know how to target issues that really matter. We spend too much time debating and arguing each other on issues that do not matter. If you are saying that you are Israelite, if you are saying you are a child of the king, that your power, that your father, that your creator, that your maker, that your redeemer is the Holy One of Israel, is the God of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You have to understand that we must come together on the unity of who our power is and on our constitution, on our Bill of Rights, on our laws and standards that was given to us by our Maker through our teacher and prophet, Moshe. We have to rise up as a people, but first as individuals to that which is right. We as individuals within this corporate body, within this corporate entity called Israel, we must rise up to the task and we must individually and corporately come together within our homes, within our communities, within um, our countries, nations, wherever we may be scattered, we must come together with like-minded people and call out to our Creator in confessions, in repentance, and in making um, vows and being committed to live according to the righteous decrees that our Creator handed down to our forefathers at Sinai. We have to walk in the righteousness of our ancestors when they walked in complete devotion to Yah and when they lived according to Torah. We had some great years and it's documented within the Tanakh when we had righteous kings and the people was righteous and we had a time of peace and prosperity because we was devoted to our creator, to our power. And we lived according to the Torah. But we also had prime examples of when we had wicked leadership and the people was just as wicked as their leaders. Where we had where our spiritual leaders, where the priests and the prophets were wicked. And they was speaking lies and teaching polluted doctrine that came from what they picked up from the nations that surround them. And teachings that came from their vain imagination just simply from them lying on the creator, on the power of our forefathers. So first, we must be honest with ourselves and make a stand. On what we will stand for. What we will fight for. What we will rally around as a people. For too long we have been fighting one another on. The zit zits you wear. The length of your zit zits. The color of your zit zits. Is the earth flat or is it a globe? Um, 
who is Esau? Who is the Esau? Who is the Messiah? Who is it the Messiah? The color of the Messiah. Um, who is an Israelite? Who is it an Israelite? We have rallied around things that have consumed much of our energy and our time, which we cannot get back. So all we could do now is repent and turn to those issues that truly matter within our communities. And most of all, what truly matters on the basis on what is biblical on what is scriptural foundations to things that should be our very prime targeted issues that we must deal with as a people even in exile we still have issues that we must deal with as Torah observant people that have woke up from a sleep and slumber that others are still um, partaking in we have to make the main thing the main thing. We have to rally around the facts that we know who our creator is. We know who we are in him. And we know what he requires of us as a people to follow. So my brothers and my sisters, I tell you now, now is the time. Indiv individually and corporately to seek the face of Yah. To seek the face of our power, of our Father, of our Creator, of our Redeemer, of our Healer, of our Shield, of our Waymaker. Yah is everything that we need. Yah is our Savior. He is our Healer. He is our all in all. And we as a people must turn to Him wholeheartedly. We can no longer come to Him 55%, 60%, 70%. 85%, 95%, we need to come to him with our whole heart, with our whole soul, with our entire being, and seek his face, and turn from our wicked ways, and humble ourselves as a people, and make the conscience decision to be what he has called us to be, and to do the things that he has called us to do. That is all I wanted to share at this time. This is your brother. This is your friend. Yael, Ezra, Ben Levy, A.K. Tommy Kurt Todd. Shalom, love, and blessings.